1940, the People's National Party names Florizel Glasspole, Willis O. Isaacs, Dr. Glendon Logan, B.B. Cook, and the Honorable Dudley Stokes to the informal joint committee to the House of Representatives to consider a flag and an anthem for an independent Jamaica. In 1958, following negotiations between the government and the National Water Commission, it is agreed that the government will pay the sum of £150,000 to the commission, which will, on its part, take over the 12-year-old Mona Reservoir. In 1967, Prime Minister Hugh Scherer announces that a meeting of trade ministers of Commonwealth Caribbean countries will be held in Jamaica on Friday, May 19, to discuss problems which could arise if Britain is accepted into the European common market. In 1975, a group of 33 Jamaican workers leave for Cuba to undergo a one-year period of training in construction methods and technology. They will be followed shortly by another 150 persons who will also go through the one-year training program. This training is part of the technical and scientific cooperation agreement between the governments of Cuba and Jamaica, which resulted from negotiations carried out between the Honorable Levi Farah, Cuba's Minister of Development of Social and Agricultural Buildings, and the Honorable Anthony Spaulding, Jamaica's Minister of Housing. And those are some of the significant events that took place on May 8.